Morning, Michigan. Chief Meteorologist Joel Fritzma here with a look at your daily forecast for Thursday, September 25th, 2025. Let's go ahead and dive right into it with our daily headlines out here for the next couple of days. Starting off with what's happening today. The low pressure is departing the east side of the state. We've got some rainfall out there, but that will be wrapping up throughout the afternoon and evening hours. If you're blessed with rain over the last couple of days as this low pressure moved through the state, congratulations. That might be your only rain you get for the next couple of weeks. Yes, I am saying weeks. Uh, if you did not get any rain, unfortunately, it does look like drought will continue even more severely for your area. Speaking of looking ahead, above average temperatures are possible. Yes, you read that right there. Temperatures that start with an eight are possible and not single digit. We're talking uh, temperatures with two numbers in their sequence there. So temperatures in the 80s are possible, especially as we get towards the end of the month in that first week of October. And that again is above average as we see temperatures usually around this time of the year in the low 70s to upper 60s. So again, that is your average temperature. So it'll be about five or 10 degrees above average as we move towards the end of the month. Also, aurora chances are possible. Throughout the next couple of weeks, again, a lot of sunspots spinning to face Earth right now. We actually just had an M flare today on the western limb of the sun. It's a little bit far away and it's kind of not facing Earth too much. So I don't believe there'll be too many aurora chances with that. But again, more sunspots spinning into the view of Earth. And that could allow for, CM, for some CMEs to be released. Uh, or some CMEs will be released and they would be facing Earth over the next couple of days. So... When that does happen, again, it takes about two to three days for that energy to reach Earth, so keep that in mind. And of course, stay tuned for any Aurora updates on our Facebook page, Michigan Storm Chasers. On our Facebook page as well, we always love to uh, put up these daily graphics once this video is released. Starting with this one, of course, at 7 a.m. every morning, we've got our daily conditions out there. Temperatures across the state. Anywhere in the orange, you got temperatures in the 70s, up here in northern Michigan, and into the eastern portion of the UP, temperatures in the high 60s. And you'll notice... Common condition out there, partly cloudy skies, partly cloudy skies, partly cloudy skies, and a little bit of rain out there in eastern portions of the lower peninsula as the low, pres low pressure system departs. Likely could see some sun by time sunset hits tonight. Other than that, though, the main condition for today on the eastern side of the state will be isolated rain showers. Go ahead and skip through this map. That is your snowfall forecast for the next 24 hours. Don't have to worry about that. You'll notice here with our rainfall map, though, there is a little bit of light precipitation that could be falling as the low pressure system departs today. Values there pretty much on the west side of the state, though, only about a hundredth of an inch, so not a whole lot. You're basically better off just saying, hey, there's not going to be really rain today. But again, we put it here just in case one of those outer showers from the low pressure system does move into your area. And you'll notice over on the east side of the state, those values are a little bit higher as those rain showers take a little bit longer to wrap up. And up here in the eastern portion or the western portions, excuse me, of the Upper Peninsula, you have temp or you have uh, values of about five hundredths of an inch as a light boundary or trough moves through, uh, starting on a Friday morning. So we'll keep that in mind, and we'll go into the daily uh, with the upcoming radar here in just a second. A severe weather outlook for today, nothing out there, as these storms will likely be all off to the east into Ontario. And all the precipitation today that will form is going to likely be in the mode of just normal rain showers. Sunrise and sunset, pretty much still in the sevens out there. Moonrise, moonsets shifted a little bit. Moonrise now about 10.30 in the morning. Moonset getting closer to the darker hours of 8 and 9 o'clock. So a little bit of moon out there during your evening hours. If you're going aurora spotting or spotting for shooting stars, you name it. That is something to take into account. Speaking of future radar, here you go. This is going to be starting at 7 a.m. today. So right now, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, and 3. Moving on here, 4, 5, and 6. And you can see anywhere where that blue is, that is clear skies. So once we get to that about 5, 6 o'clock, and 7 o'clock hours later tonight, that's when it really just becomes a really nice night, sunny skies, and a good chance at a beautiful sunset for most across the state. And you can see up here, early tomorrow morning, this is going to be about 3 a.m.-ish, uh, that's going to be when that boundary starts to move in earlier for the UP, of course, as that is around 8 p.m., 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, and 3, moving into the northern portions of the Lower Peninsula by around 6 and 7 a.m. on Friday. Taking a look at our temperatures over the next couple of days here. Temperatures anywhere you see this red are temperatures in the 70s. And as you look to Saturday, there's a perhaps a hint at 80 degrees out there. There's a little bit of a maroon patch right here near, uh, I believe that's St. John's and Saginaw, that could be a sign of temperatures hitting 80 degrees. Of course, this is off the NAM. This is just one mile run, so keep that in mind. 
but it is a possibility that we see 80 on Saturday. It'll be a nice weekend out there with sunny skies expected. If you go up to the north, it'll be nice on Saturday, but tomorrow, keep in mind, the temperatures up here will only be in the mid to low 60s. And a couple spots right behind my head here could be in the 50s as well as we get a cold wind off of Lake Superior. That's it for today. Other than that, the daily forecast sponsor here is Apex Restoration and Mitigation. Number on your screen, 810-202-3586. They are sponsored or they are located out of Grand Blanc and service the Thumb region. Other than that, I will leave you to it. Have a great Thursday and make sure to check back in for another daily forecast video tomorrow here at Michigan Storm Chasers. I'm Chief Morales Joel Fritzma signing off. Have a good one, everyone.